everybody welcome back to my channel so to start off with this simple beat I'm gonna start with my brows and I'm using my ABH dip brow in chocolate I'm just gonna make sure I'm lightly lightly using the dip brow a little bit goes a long way and just making sure that I blend it all the way through and um, I'm making my hair, my eyebrow hair work for me. I'm not gonna go for the artificial brow look. I've been digging the natural look lately. Now I'm gonna take my favorite to clean up the brow. I'm gonna use LA Girl Pro Concealing Creamy Beige and just carve out the bottom. Um, I used to wanna carve out the top too, but I notice it looks a lot more natural when I only do the bottom. So just carving out the bottom, blending it out, and I'm gonna use this to prep my eyelids. My right eyebrow always, always, always comes out better than my left eyebrow, I noticed that. Does anyone else figure that out too? Um, but after that, I'm going to blend it out with my Real Technique sponge and set it with some, any nude powder that's the closest to your eyelid shade. And I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to take my Black Radiance Contour Palette and put that in the crease. going in with my favorite, my NYX Matte Liquid Liner, and I'm going to attempt to do a winged liner. The reason why I say that is because I don't know what was wrong with me, but I had to redo my liner like 14 times. It was annoying the heck out of me, and my hubby came home from training, and he seen that I was getting frustrated, so he had to give me a little pep talk, a little motivation, a little just a pick-me-up, because sometimes I get frustrated real easy for no reason, and I realized how simple things could be if I just calm down, take a deep breath, and retry again. You guys will see why. And after that, I realized I needed a Snickers bar, so I went downstairs, got a snack, came back, and I was good to go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this Laura Mercier Blemishless Foundation Primer, prime the skin, and get ready for color correcting. With color correcting, I'm using my NYX Color Corrector Palette. I think this is such a great product. It works really well and it blends easy and it doesn't make me feel cakey like color correctors usually do. Um, just realized not too long ago that I was using color correctors that were way too dark for me. Uh, if you look in a previous video, I was using one and it was just too deep of an orange to combat my dark circles and my dark spots. So this NYX Color Correct Me Palette is really good for me because it's peach. So that's when you know a color corrector has done its job, when you blend it on the skin and it already starts to neutralize the color that you were trying to do. After that, I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, still have mixed feelings about this, but I'm just happy that it matches my skin perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my skin and then blend it out with my same technique sponge.
Now, since I'm not concealing with my regular concealer at the top of my brow, I'm using my foundation to get as close as possible without ruining the natural look. After blending that out the way I want it to, I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I'm going to highlight the face underneath the eyes, on the forehead. Really, really simple. Keep it as natural as possible in terms of complexion and just make sure that I blend it out right. Once I've blended it out as best as I can, I'm gonna set it with my Cody Airspun Powder and then take my Clinique Chubby Stick to start contouring. And to set my contour, I'm going to use my Black Radiance Contour Palette. I'm going to blend it out as best as I can. And after that, I'm going to show you guys a trick to make your foundation look so much more flawless. Now what I like to do is to spray the face after foundation and contouring and then taking my Real Technique sponge to really press in the product. It makes the skin a lot more natural looking and I noticed that my foundation lasts a lot longer. Now to finish the face, I'm gonna take my ABH Glow Kit in Sun Dipped and highlight. This is actually my first time using the Glow Kit. I'm, I'm really impressed, it's such a good investment. Um, it's a little bit on the pricey side, 42 bucks, 40 bucks, but it's definitely worth your money. And for my lips, I'm going to go with Nude, starting off with my NYX Downtown Beauty Lip Liner, and then filling it in with my Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color in Daffodil. And once I've gotten it blended out the way I want it to, I'm going to finish the lips off with my Ulta Juice Infused Lip Oil. It's kind of like a lip gloss, but it's a little bit thinner than that. It's a really good product, I've fallen in love with it. And that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, share, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys want to see next. Feel free to comment down below and I'll be on the lookout. I'll see you guys in my next video.